before we get started with the episode, let's have a look at the leaderboard for the prediction league. We have a two-way tie at the top, and we have three people who have yet to score. Remember, if you want to get involved, there's still time to do so. Just head down to the link in the description. It's free to enter. You just need to create a forum account. And with that, let's roll the titles and get this started. <laughs> It's match day three and we're at home to Oldham Athletic. They're 23rd in the league, so it should be a match we should win. We are missing Jake Reeves still. We'll be missing him for a few more months. And Connor Woods is a doubt. He picked up a tight hamstring after the EFL Cup match. Talking the EFL Cup, we should have a look at this match. So we lost 1-0 to League 1 Rotherham. They scored this goal here. Good crossfield ball. French commits himself and loses out and Clark just smashes it past McGee. As you can see, they had 30 shots, so they dominated us completely. However, they got no clear-cut chances. Luke McGee saved 12 shots. That was an excellent performance by him. Part of the massively rotate squad as well. So we had McGee in goal, Tyler French at right back, Aldi O'Connor and Reese Staunton in centre back. And Connor Woods at left back. Anderson and Devine in central midfield. Taylor on the left. Ismail on the right. And Donaldson and Novak up top. We're really trying to get some minutes into some of these fringe players. Especially O'Connor and Woods. Because they, they've just come back from injury. Sadly Woods, as you saw, picked up a little bit of a knock after this game. But back to today's match. We're going with McGee in goal. He earned his place in the EFL Cup match. We've got Mella at right back, O'Connor and Richards Everton in centre back, Henley at left back, Pritchard and Cook in central midfield, Middleton on the left, Vitz on the right, Novak and Donaldson up top. You will notice it's a bit of a slightly ch changing shape of the team. We go with two strikers up top. On the bench, we've got O'Donnell, Paldi O'Connor, Taylor, Devine, Guthrie, Ismail, and Connolly. For a team talk, let's go with, we're going calm and we're going to go. We are favourites here. Go out and give the fans a performance to cheer for. That hasn't really done any much. I'm going to go passionate and say, I'm expecting a solid performance from you. And I'll do the same probably for all of them, I think. And I'm going to have faith for the strikers. Got a few greens. Now let's kick off a bit with an A free kick. Whips it in. Which is Everton over the bar. Free kick to Oldham. Whipped in. Segby Agpu. And it's saved by McGee. Flip for free kick. Brilliant save by the Oldham keeper. Mella. Plays it in behind. Donaldson. Donaldson shoots. Keeper tips over the bar. Whipped from the corner. Finds the head of O'Connor. Donaldson plays it back to De Vitz. Shoots. He blocks once. Blocks twice. And then someone's offside. Missing on the ball. Switches it out to Smith. Who heads it down to Agpu. Who plays it back to Smith, then back to Akpu. Akpu shot, tipped over the bar by McGee. I'm going to make a tactical tweak here. Let's see, I'm going to play shorter passing, try and get a bit more control of the game. Henley switches out to win, but can only find the Oldham player. Hey, Mella picks up this ball, that plays inside the Devitt, who's then inside the Pritchard. Pritchard plays it to Cook, who gets out of his feet and smashes it. Good save, keeper. Pritchard and Cook playing tidy short balls to each other. Pritchard looks up, tries to find Devitt behind. But he can't get on the end of it. Pritchard tries to find Mella, but it's cut out. As Angpu is running at the defence, can he go past him? He does. It shoots, forces McGee into another save. Let's tell the to show 10 minutes of passion, and he's out for the throw. Finds Donaldson, nods it on, but to no one. Pritchard picks up on the edge of the area, but that shot's awful. Another long throw by Henley. But only finds a defence and Pritchard picks up to the, on the edge of the box. Plays it in the Cook. Cook shot. Ricochets off the defender for a corner. Middle to the corner. Finds no back in space. But he can only head it over the bar. Cook driving forward. Keeps driving forward. Plays it back to Pritchard. Who tries to find the fit and he does. They play a nice one two. Out to Mella. Mella finds Donaldson making him run down the wing. He controls it. Plays it back to Mella. Mella goes past Plays out Donaldson, Donaldson's cross, 
and it's headed by Cook and it scrambled away. Long throw from Henry finds Donaldson who nods it down to Cook. He fights Middleton and Middleton fires a big Cook sweeps it out to DeVitt. Takes it on his man. Sets him up and then plays Mello in. Mello gets to the byline. Crosses over. Finds Novak but the keeper tips over to Green's corner. Finds Novak and he's headed straight at the goalkeeper. Mello slow. Finds Donaldson. Nods it down to DeVitt. DeVitt shoots. The keeper spills it. Middleton. Puts it away, but now it's offside. How close is this? Now at the Donaldson, oh Middleton, oh Donaldson. Damn it. Matter to Pritchard, Pritchard to Cook. We do play some nice football in this area, and we're good at switching the ball to the wings, as we've just shown there. So there's final third, though. Again, no back shot blocked. So at half time, we're dominating the shots. So we haven't got a clear cut chance. In fact, they've had the only one. Dominating possession as well. As I said, we're playing some nice football in the middle of the park. But it's that final third, we're just not clinical enough. Team talk wise, I'm going to tell them I'm not happy. And that's fine, most of them up. First I like the second half, Mella plays it back to Pritchard. And then he plays it across to Cook. Cook back to Pritchard and then Pritchard to wish good reverse ball into Donaldson. He plays it into Novak and Novak's shot is pushed around the post. The corner comes in and Donaldson. Donaldson scores. Nice header. Rose above the defender. As we see from the replay, good corner by Middleton. Donaldson has two men around him but he jumps better than both of them and heads it down into the corner. That's a good Mellow wins the ball there in the air and it goes Donaldson. Donaldson then plays it back to Mellow. Mellow then into Pritchard. Pritchard then finds Cook with first time reverse ball into Novak who plays it back to Henley. And into Cook. Everything goes through Cook in this team. Finds Middleton. Cook again to Henley. And then Cook again finds Henley whose cross comes in. It's dangerous but it's headed away. Mellow with the ball. Finds Cook. Cook then drives forward with it. Keeps driving forward before. Playing it back to Richards Everton, who plays it into Middleton and nods it down to Henley, who pivots on the ball and puts in a dangerous ball into the box and Donaldson heads it over. Doreen nodded on by DeVitt, who finds Donaldson. Donaldson's cross, but it's cleared away. But Richards Everton picks up loose ball and it gets to DeVitt. DeVitt plays it back to O'Connor. O'Connor plays it to Mello, who's in Acres. Mello's early cross. And headed over by Novak. Ball played up Novak who heads the ball down to Pritchard. Pritchard sweeps it out to DeVitt. He plays it back to Pritchard. Pritchard out to Mella. And back to Pritchard. Mella inside to Cook. And back to Pritchard. And then to Cook again. They're just playing it between each other. Oh, nice reverse ball by Pritchard. Finds Middleton. Middleton's strike is tipped around the post. Middle of the corner. Puts it into the penalty spot. Pritchard's in Acres but follows over the bar. Holden put a free kick into the box and it's headed over the bar. Pritchard gets the ball. Whips it out to Middleton. Heads it down to Cook who plays back Middleton back in and that shot is awful. But he's trying to get the kind of performance we should be getting from David. So let's um, let's try playing him as an inverted winger. Novak also is a bit disappointing so he'll probably be off soon. It's now been 10 minutes and Novak still hasn't made uh, impact, so let's bring him off for Guthrie. O'Connor's also on uh, yellow card, so let's bring Powdy on in his place. Donaldson into DeVitt. DeVitt cuts in the field, keeps running, keeps running. Plays it out to Henley. Henley finds Cook, who's always there for him. And then Cook plays it back to Henley. Henley then back to Cook again. And then plays Henley in his crosses. Donaldson's header is parried and Guthrie now has got it. Guthrie to Henley. Henley finds Middleton who finds Guthrie. Guthrie shoots and it's saved by the keeper. Final change time. So I think I'll take Middleton off for Conley and switch these two around. See if we can get DeVitt playing better on that side. Cook finds Pritchard into DeVitt. DeVitt finds Pritchard. Then the Cook. DeVitt. DeVitt follows it across and it's headed towards goal by Guthrie but the keeper saves. Henley finds Richard Everton, lifts it over the top of the defence, but it's just too close to the goalkeeper. McCann plays it to Smith. Smith checks his run, sweeps the ball in, and it's headed over, not troubling McGee. 
Connolly. Takes it back to Mella. Mella gets dispossessed though. Smithy is now breaking forward. He's got acres to run into. What's he going to do here? He pulls it back to McGann. Who smashes it in top corner. Once again. Punished late by a mistake from Mella. That is a problem. We need to stop him doing that. I mean it's a good run by Smith. And it's a good ball back. And it's a brilliant strike. McGee's not getting anywhere near it, but that's poor from us. Going to have to be a bit more offensive here to try and get this win. A game we should be winning. We deserve to be winning. Paulio trying to knock down the cook. Cook finds Pritchard. Pritchard drives forward. Good ball in the Connolly. Connolly's got some space, but his cross is blocked. That's a poor clearance, and Defit gets it. Pulls it inches wide. Another long throw. Cook with the body out of the bar. If anyone deserved to go today, Cook was the, that person. Been brilliant in that centre park. Henry's throw to the bit. Plays it inside the Pritchard. Pritchard switches it to Connolly. Got fire on the first defender, but the defender makes a mistake and then takes Connolly down. It'll be the last chance for them this free kick. Oh, Paulio kind of takes it. Switches it out to Connolly. Connolly's cross is blocked. Cleared, and that's the end. Disappointing for. I think I'm probably going to tell my players aggressively that it was not good enough, and they've all responded well. So if we look at the stats, we had 26 shots, 14 of them on target. We didn't quite clear cut chance, which is the worrying. Our passing was very high though, 83%. Tackles 82%. So we played well. It's just that final third, as I said before. They're just not clinical enough. If you have a look at the players. McGee had a solid game. Mella had a pretty good game apart from that mistake we saw. He created a chance, had two key passes. Connor was solid. Rich Everton solid. Enley, he made a mistake at one point, but he created a chance and had a key pass. Richard again made one mistake, which isn't too bad for a midfielder. Created a chance and had two key passes. Cook. I'm surprised he didn't create more chances and have more key passes because he was involved in everything. But he got 6.8. The fit was disappointing. He keeps being disappointing. Middleton had a good game. Maybe I shouldn't have taken him off. Maybe it should have taken the fit off. Johnson was our best player. Got 7.4. Made two mistakes. But had a chance. Had a key pass. And scored a goal. Novak was disappointing like the fit. Only got 6.5 and really did nothing. If you have a look at the other results, Mansfield went to Carlisle and won one nil. Colchester beat Cambridge one nil. Crew and Walsall drew one all. Exeter beat Swindon two nil. Forest Green won one nil against Grimsby. Leighton all in one three one against Stevenage. Morecambe one two one against Cheltenham. Newport nil nil against Plymouth. Northampton three one against Macclesfield. Salford got their first win of the season three two against Port Vale. And the final match, Scunthorpe lost 3-0 at home to Crawley Town. In the league, that leaves us in 10th. Crawley are leading. Carlisle are bottom. Still a long way to go, though. Hopefully, next game against Stevens will be better. And with that, that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. If you could like and subscribe, that would be great. And for those of you taking part in the Fiction League, the link to the next entry thread is below. That match will kick off on Saturday the 28th of March at 8pm. And if you haven't yet taken part, there's still time to do so. Just follow the link to how to play in the description below. And then go to the entry thread also listed in the description below. And submit your entry.